On this channel, when I say crime is the new black entitlement, I'm not just dramatizing thing to make an effect. Crime is the new black entitlement. And all around the country, city councils are getting rid of laws that black people break a lot, so we can just say they're not really breaking the law. Down to what We just did a story down in Washington, D.C., where uh, they're basically going to stop prosecuting people who don't, do not pay the fare to get on the metro. Well, they did that in New York about a year, uh, a year or so ago. Now it turns out that they're losing a whole lot of money. I mean, three years ago, before they started doing this, in New York City, because people were evading fares, jumping the fare, going in the outdoor for free, the city was 400,000 people a week were riding that subway for nothing. That's a million dollars a week. Now it's now they say it's gotten a lot worse because they're going to do in what in, in New York they said no we're not prosecuting fair jumpers anymore we got other things to do people we got to go out and catch killers well, how's that going well we're not really catching them either because they're the victims of white racism that's why they kill somebody so why do we have to catch why do we have to put them in jail let's take a take, take a look at this DC story and we'll wrap it all up they're hopping over the turnstiles and ducking under them finding ways to avoid paying the fare. Uh, I just see people jumping over the turnstile, you know, they're waiting for the doors to open, you know, on the sides. Uh, yeah, uh, it's practically every day. All the time, just jump right over. Fare beating has long been a problem for the MTA, but transit officials say it has grown worse and is one reason fares have to go up in March. They say fare beating increased after the Manhattan District Attorney last year stopped prosecuting most cases. A response to concerns black and Latino violators were being disproportionately singled out. The NYPD also has eased enforcement, issuing civil summonses to the majority of turnstile jumpers instead of arresting them to focus on more serious crimes. They say fare beating increased after the Manhattan District Attorney last year stopped prosecuting most cases. A response to concerns black and Latino violators were being disproportionately singled out. NYPD numbers show more than 10,000 fewer arrests for fare beating since January compared to the same period last year, a decline of more than 66%. The problem is people are not paying, and that is not fair to the people that are paying. Three years ago, the MTA said fare beating cost the system a million dollars a week, the equivalent of 400,000 unpaid rides every seven days. The agency says it will release new numbers next month, detailing just how much worse the problem has become. To discourage fare evasion, the MTA has begun posting signs like these throughout the subway system. You'll soon begin seeing the signs on the buses as well. Still, we did not have to look far to find New Yorkers beating the fare. Okay, so what did they think was going to happen? If we tell the fellas that they're riding the subway is now free, what did you think was going to happen? Please, sir, I want some more. You knew what was going to happen. That a whole bunch more fellas were going to start riding the, the subway for free. And it was going to cause ridiculous level of problems that you won't be around to deal with. Because you're all short timers. But here's what lasts forever. The philosophy of not making the black kids angry.